Oh my gosh. Where am I? <laughs> Good morning. Happy coffee. I've time traveled. Checking some things. Um, let me do my super fancy audio tech test. Yep, I hear myself. I've streamed Kerbal to no sound in the past, so we're avoiding that situation. But oh my goodness, everybody. Uh, I'll just fight with it, that's fine. I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I think I've time traveled. I think we've time traveled back to like 2016 or 2014 or something. Not only am I streaming Kerbal Space Program, uh, and warning, I, I have not, I don't have better hardware than I did the last time I streamed Kerbal Space Program, so it might lag. And because I love this game, I just want to say at the beginning, this game looks fantastic. I have everything set so that I can stream better. So I don't want this visually to represent <laughs> what one would expect playing Kerbal Space Program. And also, I apologize, my mic's over here, I keep turning that way. But anyway, I'm playing Kerbal Space Program, and not only am I playing Kerbal Space Program, which is already a blast from the past, but I'm, I'm playing in an old version, 1.2, I, which I think is eight versions behind, eight major releases behind, right? It, it, we're at version 1.10 now. And I'm playing in a copy of an old install. So this is a modded install from uh, back in the day. We're listening to music from Pretzel Rocks, by the way. Um, this is a install of Kerbal Space Program 1.2. And the reason we're in 1.2 is that there is a mod called Kerbal Commander that I believe, I could be wrong, I've not done my research at all, y'all, was only released for 1.2. Um, and I wanted to play that. So, this is the return of Bartool Danger Kerman, space adventurer extraordinaire. <laughs> well, I fix my install over here. In my settings. There we go. Let me make sure I'm in. There we go. All right. Um, so, actually, I've loaded into the wrong place. I need to load a game in here, and I need to load just created bar tool. So what this is, I'm going to load. What this is, is that uh, normally in Kerbal Space Program you build rockets, and you unlock a tech tree, and you do science, and you do contracts, and you launch your rockets into space, and you explore the solar system. Which is fantastic. But, um... What Kerbal Commander does, uh, it kind of takes over your save um, and lets you create a Kerbal. It's basically a, a space trading sim in Kerbal Space Program. Um, and there might be a newer version than this. I don't know if the mod developer still likes it even or works on it. I have no idea, but I think it's a fun way to jump back in. I've also got these fun animated textures for the side of the space station. So a lot of the things in this save, I, I didn't make, right? Nothing, and actually nothing in this save is something I made. This is a space station that comes with it. I've already set it up because there's a little bit of setup. But here we have Bar Tool Danger Kerman, pilot extraordinaire who um, is going to need to buy cheap ships. And it's a lot like Elite Dangerous, which I'm hoping to play tomorrow. Buy cheap ships, uh, trade buy low, sell high, basically, and go between different space stations and uh, do, take contracts and things like that. I'm going to sneeze, and I think I have a mute button. Okay, that was good sneezing music. I'm gonna turn my... Yeah, that's fine. What was I saying? So we're gonna, we're gonna work our way up I think the nav ball is a little too big. Can I change that? Was that something that you could do in version 1.2? Yes. Um, nav ball scale, I'm gonna make it like that. That's a little bit more pleasant. Except. 
Um, yeah, so it's a little bit like Elite Dangerous, which I'm hoping to play tomorrow, where you trade between space stations and make enough money to buy better ships. Um, there's a lot of quirks, so uh, we're going to see what we do. And if uh, we run out of steam with this, I also have another old install in 1.3 of a um, uh, different set of mods in a different solar system, which I'm excited to play as well. So we'll see. I'll jump into that at some point if uh, Bartool needs a break. Uh, this, this, this song is just a little too much for me. Let me, um, let me just have epic space music. Epic. Let me make sure my volume is set to where I want it to be also. Yeah, it is. Okay. Great. Let's play. So, the first thing that I would like to do, uh, Bartool, is actually cheat. <laughs> And the reason is, we're here at Kerbin. Here's Kerbin. So there's space station around Kerbin. There's space station around the moon. There's space station around Minmus. That's lovely, but it can get. I I assume it might get a little tedious. Also, because you launch from Kerbin, I think that there's an opportunity here to actually um, ex explore the solar system a little bit more. So what we're going to do. Um, Out here is Jewel in low texture form, and the moons of Jewel. So what I want to do is cheat my way out to the Jewel space station <laughs> because let's see, I have to get him out. Transfer here because uh, or not not Jewel lathe. I assume in the future. So it's the future, and there's space stations around all of the Kerbal planets, and that's the universe we find ourselves in. And we're just uh, you know helping commerce take place. Uh, we're being space truckers. Um, this is not working for me either. All right. I don't know if you can hear the music anymore anyway, but, um, we're going to EVA. All right. We're out. Let go. This is Bartool Kerman, everyone. Turn on the reaction control system. Anyway, it's the future, and I assume that that um, the planet Lathe, which is the only other planet in the Kerbal Solar System, why are we sh shaking all over the place? Why are we having so much trouble here? Um, so, space space action hero Bartool Danger Kerman is going to defy the laws of physics. Um, and I want to actually, wow, uh, lots of errors there. I, I want to actually start out at Lathe because I think that it will be a little bit more interesting for us. So I'm just going to, we're just going to close our eyes. His adventure hasn't started yet. We're going to go to Lathe and we're going to, well, actually, I don't even know if I need to do that. I'm just going to go to Lathe Station. Rendezvous. All right, so I just cheated myself 150 meters it's dark though. Let's turn on the lights. Wow, I actually remembered that the hotkey for the lights is U, even though that never made any sense. I feel like I'm going to be better at this version of the game than I would be if I downloaded the, the, the recent version and tried to play that. Okay, but we can't see anything. I don't know about you, but I can't see anything. So let's just uh, go towards the target. This is, this is sort of a backstory. He made his way. Um, he made his way to, uh, maybe he bought passage aboard a space transport and f made his way to Lathe. Actually, maybe he's a farm boy who grew up on Lathe and wanted to experience adventure. And so, managed to save up 20,000 credits, and as well as uh, getting himself up to Lathe Station, where he uh, is hoping to make his fortune uh, and not break the space station. So this is a much more modest space station, you can see, than the one around Kerbin, uh, even though I imagine that Lathe is relatively, um, relatively an active destination. Lathe is a water world um, with some islands, so it is a, it is a planet in the Kerbin system that uh, could theoretically support uh, 
Kerbal life without having to build domes and things. Let's grab. Let's let's board. Just get in. Okay. And we're just going to save game as... Yeah, we can call it quick save number one. That's fine. We'll remember. Um, trading. These textures are by, uh, I believe, somebody else. And I couldn't find their name. But a uh, little extra. Some, a number of people... Let's warp into the daylight so we can see what's happening. A number of people contributed by adding space stations or uh, ships that you can buy. Here we are. There is a bit of an issue with the ships when you buy them. I'm just going to ignore it. Like, I can kind of... There's, You have to want to play this game uh, in a particular way to be able to have it work. All right. But meanwhile, Bartool is com is comfy. He's hanging out in the, uh, in the uh, compartment here. I assume that, you know, this station is crude, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a curbled space station. Um, and I have 20,000 credits, so I can click on this and open the station menu. So I can do trading, I can hire Kerbals. Uh, I don't remember, this goes back to the menu, this is asteroids? You know what? I honestly don't remember. We're going to buy a ship. <laughs> buy a new ship. So if you design the ship, you can kind of... The prices are different, but I'm going to see if I can find something that is under 20,000 monies, funds, credits. Credits with a K. Space box. Well, the Kirk Mark I is less than 10,000. Uh, so I think Kirk Mark One is the one we're gonna pick up. Where'd it go? Let's load that in, and we have purchased. See, we spent that money. We've purchased a ship, and there it is. So he needs to go get it. But Bartool, being an action hero, he doesn't mind. All right, we're moving towards it. Let's speed up a little bit. And I also have a mod that lets me uh, look through the eyes of a Kerbal. Um, in fact, I think it is called Through the Eyes of the Kerbals. Uh, so I can see from his perspective, we can actually go a little faster. Lights are on. Here is our new ship. And for anyone just joining, I'm playing in Kerbal 1.2 with a mod called Kerbal Commander, as well as a number of other mods. Um, resurrecting a very old install of Kerbal Space Program that has long been neglected. I used to stream... Oop. Let's get out of the uh, personal view. Okay, slow down. <laughs> Let's go on the other side of the thing. And let's remember how to do this. I've neglected my curbling. Oop. The door's on this side. All right, we don't need that much light. Grab. And we are bored. Let's right away rename this vehicle. Rename Vessel. Uh, it's a Kirk Mark One, and it's a it's a ship, and we're going to call it uh, um, Operation. No, uh, no, not Operation. No. We're going to call it Distinct Tomorrow. I think that's a ship I have in uh, Elite Dangerous, so we're going to inspire by that. Except, all right, and now look at the inside. It's like a plane, it's the plane cockpit. So I have asset and uh, uh, raster prop monitor, I think. I don't even, I can't even tell you what all the things are. But first, let's turn on the 
Uh, and unfortunately, in 720, it will be even harder to read these things. But let's backlight the panels. Backlight panels are on. Um, do I have action groups? I don't believe I have action groups. Uh, let's. Do I have action? Oh, I do. Let's see if. Okay, that was the. Let's quick save real quick since I'm playing in somebody else's ship. I want to see if deploying the solar panels is an action group. I'm going to have to go out to see. Yep, sure was. Look at that. Look at that. Do we have visual confirmation that we've deployed the solar panels? No, we cannot tell. Uh, but anyway, instrument backlighting is on. SAS on. Um, I'm going to actually turn the engines off. And the nav ball attitude control is on. Now, I would like to target vessels. Uh, and I would just like to target the lathe station. So I have to go down here. I can just do this outside, but it's kind of fun to do it for my VA view. So I am now targeted lathe station, and now I can point towards it. Look at that. Um, RCS on. Whoops, that's not the controls. All right, now let's bring up the nav ball and let's translate toward lathe station because the next step is to go ahead and dock. We have to be docked with it in order to purchase things. Uh, so let's double check our, uh, I've got a lot, of, a lot of other mods in here right now. We've got plenty of Delta V. Let's double check our just remembering how to do this. I believe Vessel Viewer is not installed. Here's some resources. So I'm using monopropellant to accelerate toward the vehicle. But I'm using it quite slowly. Look at that. Okay, it's going down by a tenth of a gram? A kilogram with a K. Whoops. Um, attitude. Oop, computer went to sleep. What's my closing speed right now? You know what? I have an idea for that. Which is over here. Unfortunately, I can't pull this up, but let's say it's the future and Kerbals can just make windows appear where they want to. Um, I want to target um, one of these docking ports. Clampatron Docking Port Jr. No, I nope. I need a regular old inline clampatron. So I've now targeted that. Uh, and I can now see my closing velocity. So let's actually accelerate. A couple meters per second so that we're not here forever. And I can even time accelerate a little bit just to make this proceed a little bit faster. Time acceleration being a sort of safer way to uh, succeed in not getting yourself killed. Um, let's actually go towards that one. That would be that would be, be the ideal place. Now, I also want to control from. Let's take it out of that view. slow our closing velocity. Now, I have... I think I actually have to go out of IVA to do this because I don't know how to set this control from here. I think Vessel Viewer could do that. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm going to try to dock with the space station in IVA view using these mods. Docking. Uh, let's reduce velocity here. Yep. So we're going to fly past it. Yeah, see, there it is. Now my controls are flipped because the way I'm facing is now um, like the docking port's on the back and I'm controlling it from there. So the way I'm looking at the window is now flipped from what I expect to do. So I'm going to have a little bit of confusion. But look at this excellent little display here. Ships behind us. And 
Now I can roll so that we are aligned properly. The automated horizon is going crazy. We've now passed the docking port. And so I'm trying to get the orange marker in the center. I'm trying to get the orange marker on the top. I don't know if you can see the mouse. You should be able to see the mouse. I'm trying to get that to the top, the orange marker in the middle. And then the green lines represent the displacement, um, which I have to switch on reaction control thrusters and translate. And while I'm at it, let's start actually closing. We're getting aligned properly. We should see it coming up in our viewer in a moment. Okay, that's an annoying sound that's gonna happen. Look, there it is, showing up. All right, can you see in the bottom there? There it is in the little camera. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So we're gonna do the, we're facing, it's right behind us, right? Okay. Got all the different lines lined up. And that's, a, that's an alarm telling me misaligned. There we go, that's pretty good. You know, when SpaceX released their like web browser, like, you can simulate docking with the International Space Station in the Dragon, I was like, guys, <laughs> we've had this. <laughs> it was still cool, though. Uh, what just happened? Not sure what just happened. I'm concerned that the solar panels crashed into something. Let me... Uh, reacquire. I, I actually have no idea what happened. Control from here, right? Uh, we were doing fine and then everything went completely nuts. Let's just rotate. Get realigned. I said get realigned. Okay, now head in the correct direction. Translate up. I, I see that I'm at the wrong angle. Thank you, loud beeping noise. Ah! These alarms don't realize that danger is my middle name. Okay. I forget how to do this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is harder than I remember. All right. Let's reacquire. I did this earlier. That's, that's the funny thing. I did it when I was testing stuff. All right. Go back. Stop beeping at me. Stop beeping at me. <laughs> Stop beeping at me. You know, let's get on fine controls. What's wrong with my angle? My angle is fine. You know what? You're so angry. Point at the target. I sort of stopped speaking here. It got very difficult. I can do it. Just need to roll. And now I actually... I don't want to bounce off again. Oh, shush. I almost deleted that sound. Alright, we're very close. Slow our closing speed in case that we just bounced off. We're going... There we go. Okay, I don't have the docking docking noises, but we did it. I don't know what the problem was the first time. It might have been that uh, extend solar panel. Might have been that that, uh, that solar panel hit this. If we'd just been aligned slightly differently, it wouldn't have been a problem. I think that's what happened. Woo! We made it over our first hur hurdle bar tool.
Oh. All right. We're going to enjoy this vista for a minute, watching, looking out over Jewel. I apologize. We have to be right back. Be right back. Hello. Thank you for waiting. All right, Bartul. That was a much more difficult hurdle than I expected. Incidentally, incidentally, if we take a look at Bartul, we mouse over his experience, we find that he has been to all of the planets, as far as I can tell. Uh, but in any case... Oh, look at that jewel rise! Um... Can we see it from here? Yeah, we can. Look at that. It's a jewel rise over uh, Lathe with no clouds. It's a, cl it's a, it's a sunny day on Lathe. Um, beautiful. Yeah, so, okay, cheats are now f officially complete. Um, this is the solar system in which uh, we find ourselves. So this is the planetary system. We got Jewel, Lathe, Val, Tylo, Bop, which is inclined and Paul, and these uh, moons, whoops, let me, uh, I've accidentally gone out to Elu very, very far away. Let's just tab through everything. There we go. And the reason I wanted to cheat out here is because these moons will provide a more uh, dynamic place for us to make our home, I believe. So, normally what we would do now is, uh, uh, focus this way. Normally, I would plan a maneuver uh, and just start exploring or something, go out and go to one of these other planets. Um, but I'm going to use some of the mods to do the maneuver planning. Oh, and first, we actually have to make our purchases. That's the whole point of this. Whoops. That's the whole point of this mod. Show me. There we go. All right. So if I go in here, I can open the station menu and go to the trading. All right. So I have a little... Um, text document that came with the mod back in 2017 or whenever it was that this was actually current um, that's pointed out that um, uh, well I've decided already that I'm going to buy as much wood as I can afford um, because how much wood can I afford by the way I have 12,000 oh yeah it knows it knows exactly I can buy Oh, let's just let's just fill vessel, vessel filled. Okay, I don't have a lot of storage. It's just these ore tanks. So I bought wood for five per five space bucks per kilogram. I'm gonna say. Um, and then I was gonna go to Val to sell them. So 
Let's get back into uh, this mode and uh, we can take a look at the orbit display. I said we can take a look at the orbit display. So here we are. Um, body, lathe. Now, what is this? I'm not really sure what I'm looking at, honestly, y'all. Um, but what I can do is rather than just making a maneuver, I have somewhere one of my mods. Aha! The transfer window planner. Is Are any of these mods still current in Kerbal Space Program? I have no idea. We have the transfer window planner. So our origin is going to be lathe. We're at lathe. So this is something that I assume would come standard on all of these future spaceships that uh, you might find in the Kerbal Commander universe. So what is my initial orbit? What is my apoapse height, periapse height? So I'm actually at a 300 kilometer orbit, 300 kilometers. And I want my destination is Val. And I don't know what orbit, um, we're going for, we'll go for a 100 kilometer orbit, that's fine. Um, I suspect it's gonna be 300 there as well. Although we can check real quick, whoops, I alt tapped. Let me get out of that text box and press M. Focus view over here, ooh, I like this song. Uh, yeah, it's a 300 kilometer orbit. Uh, however, we will of course want to, um, let's just do no insertion burn because it doesn't actually matter. So the transfer window planner, he's, he, he's going to spend some time by the way, he's going to go on the space station and enjoy himself while we wait. Um, latest departure could be day 20, that's fine, uh, time of flight. Zero to two days. Okay, plot it. So, and then we get this pork chop plot, if it appears. Let's go back to day five. Let's plot that. Seems to not work. Oh, interesting. Why didn't it work? Lathe to Val. It's got, oh, it's got not a number of meters per second. That's not good. Um, the pork chop plot is not displaying. Is that because it's referencing something that is like not here? Hmm. Plot it? Well, we might not be able to do this. Um, selected transfer detail. So even though it's not showing us the plot, it's supposed to be this all colorful thing. Oh yeah, there's a not of num there's not a number in here. That's very bad. Not a number is infectious. It gets all over the place. But it is telling us that on year one, day three, there'll be a transfer of 400 and, it's just a very cheap transfer, 400 meters per second. But look at our, I don't know what our current delta V is. I assume it's more than that. I should have looked while we were actually full. Are we full, by the way, on uh, liquid fuel and stu stuff? Yeah, we are. Let's just, um, yeah, we're okay. We've got, we've got plenty of monopropellant. So it's only gonna take a day. So because this isn't quite working, uh, let's see, copy details. Uh, should take, we're looking for a target delta V of about 400 meters per second. I will go ahead and do it um, the old fashioned way because the pork chop plots are not working. That's fine. Uh, not. Uh, all right. Add a maneuver, because we're not in the right place right now. But it's not going to take very much to transfer out to... Uh... Yeah, it's not going to take very much at all to transfer out to uh, catch Val. Sorry, my sentences. Um, but yeah, let's wait. So he sits on the space station for a few days. Transfer window planner, lathe to Val, plot it. And this is the travel days, this is the departure date. So we want this to be as low. So right now it's gonna be quite high. So let's go ahead and just uh, wait. He's gonna spend some, some time. I mean, I know time is money. Um, 
lathe val year one day zero minus three hours fifty what okay close alarm did that work yes seems to be is it counting up or down it's counting up so something didn't work there add an alarm it's telling me it's in the past so let's instead forget this the trigger tech stuff isn't working let's add an alarm for a transfer window lathe to val Year one, day three. Let's add that alarm. There we go. That's what we wanted. That's plenty and simple. And this is some nice music as he spends a few days. And days being only six hours long. Look at this beautiful, the ballet of, the celestial ballet of planets turning back and forth. How nice. And uh, he's he's got a cargo hold of this tiny vehicle full of uh, logs and, and the like. Lumber. Lumber, lumber. Can I, can't this thing go any faster? No. We're almost there. This song, this particular pretzel rock song, always comes up at the most bizarre moments. Uh, when something really not dramatic is happening. Uh, but we can actually change view. That wasn't really the change of view that I was looking for. Um, all right, he has passed three days on that space station. Close alarm. And he's gonna go ahead and uh, he's gonna go ahead and undock. I don't know if I can do that from inside, so we're gonna undock. Proceed away. All right, engine is on. I didn't quite mean to do that. All right. He's deployed. So now, since I am apparently a lot more rusty than I remembered, we are simply going to, uh, let's go inside. Backlighting is on. SAS on, RCS off. Let's point prograde in our orbit, please. I said let's point, ah, aha, prograde in our orbit, I think. That's what we wanted. And just gently thrust away a little bit. Oop. Thrust away a little bit, just so that we are not gonna run into the space station. All right. Look at Jewel out there. All right. Let's rotate. Okay, now we're going to want to go to Val. Add maneuver. Um, now, I was going to use the alarm clock and the uh, uh, transfer window planner to just make the maneuvers. But look, there it is. Uh, fo focus on vessel. No, that's not what we want. Focus view on Val. There we go. So we are overburning. Actually, we can get away with a much less. So this is this is how these maneuvers work. I'm going to burn prograde, uh, and I'm going to spend uh, spend uh, just under 500 meters per second worth of delta v from the engines um, to put me on a uh, rendezvous course um, with planet Val, which is right here. Now, I'm also going to drop the Val Periapsis. Not quite so much. Not so much that we are going to crash into the surface. Um, 
12 kilometers should be just fine, but let's go a little higher. Yeah, there we go. We're going to go nice and low and that way be able to do a, a good rendezvous with the uh, Val station. I don't know if that's the most efficient way to do it, but it sounds like it'll be fun. Um, and let's remember that, uh, well, I, I have now lost. We spent, we spent some money. I have no idea what money we're going to make. That's fine. All right. Whoops, I keep pressing the wrong button. C to go inside. All right. Here is our display. It's showing us our maneuver. I want to point towards our maneuver vector. And I want to add an alarm for the distinct tomorrow maneuver in 17 minutes. And let's turn on the lights. There we go. And now we're gonna time warp to the maneuver. It says the node burn time is going to be a minute and 34 seconds. I somehow suspect that that is going to be incorrect, but we will see. All right, close. Now, so I'm looking up in the top corner. I don't know if it's gonna come through in 720, but I'm looking up in the top right corner for my delta V, my node delta V, which is 488 meters per second, and my burn time, which is one minute and 34 seconds, counting down. So, this is our orbit display. Let's do it in time with the music, because that seems fun. I'm gonna use the throttle manually. go and outside it looks like this off we go so we're gonna burn until the node burn time is down at zero and you can see our orbit is changing the green line is the orbit we're on now if I go into map view we can see the same thing except not quite um, there there we go and the view out the window we can actually not see um, much because we're burning on the dark side of the planet right now. So I'm gonna use the keyboard controls for cutting the engines so that I am not uh, doing it poorly. All right, 30 seconds remain. We're going to be going into an escape trajectory. I like, so I didn't design this ship in case that wasn't clear, uh, but I like it, it's fun. 15 seconds remain. Dynamic pressure. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Look at that, look at that. You probably can't see that. It says 0, 0.0 seconds. All right. Now I'm rather close to my, uh, my orbit line that we expected, although probably not precise. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check map view to make sure I ended up where I wanted to go. We're gonna delete that maneuver node and I'm going to use the reaction control system to slightly adjust I don't know if it is, I genuinely don't know if it is more efficient um, to uh, capture closer given that our target is out at 300 kilometers, but it's fine. So, let's uh, turn off the RCS system, the RCS system, the reaction control system, and turn to have a nice view. Now I would like to add an alarm for the uh, Wait, hang on. I had an alarm for the sphere of influence change because these in these old versions of Kerbal Space Program, you could sometimes have problems with that. It is in an hour and 15 minutes. So he's gonna hang out. Let's turn off the lights. He's gonna take a little, oops, that's the instrument backlighting. He's gonna just relax. 
And we're gonna time warp. I'm gonna quick save while we're here. Off we go. There's Val. We can sort of see it in the distance. Off we go. And we're arriving. Nope. I want to focus on vessel. Focus on vessel. That was the way to do it. So there we go. We've we've left uh, lathe. And now we're going to just time warp through this transition. Great. Let's just go ahead and warp to the sphere of influence change. Oh, whoa. Something very weird just happened. See what I mean? Sometimes weird things happen. I quick saved, and I'm going to shamelessly load that quick save because. This is the kind of thing that I remember being used to. And in recent versions of the game, it wasn't happening anymore. But obviously, we still had that. So this is where we were. Let's not use warp 2. Warp 2 is a trap. Let's just use the uh, alarm clock. Oh, yes, yeah, the cribble running dance. Delete on close. When this flips. All right, now we're gonna add an alarm for the sphere of influence change to approach Val, which will happen in two hours. And hopefully we won't have that weird behavior. Nope, everything was fine. Oh, it's so lovely watching these things fly through space. Here comes Val. Oh, I really enjoyed that little transfer. See, moon solar systems are fun. I don't know how to explain. It's, it's uh, it makes me think of sailboats somehow. I don't know why. Delete on close. Let's just get through the sphere of influence change. You really, in my experience, always had to babysit the thing. Interesting, we have a, we're going to slingshot. So if we do not change our course, look what is going to happen to us. Wow. We're gonna gravity assist off the thing and go off into crazy town. Well, we definitely wanna kill that velocity. Are we gonna be able to do it? So we're gonna add a maneuver at uh, periaps, please. And hopefully it'll be less than 1100 meters per second. I'm just gonna do it manually for a moment. So far, so good. Did not take more than more than the amount of fuel that we had. Uh, let's focus on Val. So now we're looking at the planet, and I want to rendezvous with Val Station. So it looks like the best time to do that. This isn't the most efficient way to do it by far. But I want these two markers to line up. And I'm just going to fiddle with my burn until they're, yeah, 0.4 kilometers will be perfect. Let's add an alarm for that maneuver. Add. And maneuver on. And orbit, please. Where's my orbit control? Orbit. Orbit display. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool and fancy and high tech and I don't know how to read any of it. Where is, where is Val by the way? Can I see it? There it is. I like the IVAs, but I'm gonna fly it from, from not IVA. Maneuver hold. And the reason is um, because actually pointing the right way, your view isn't as good. All right. See, this thing doesn't know how to estimate the burn time down in the bottom here, but this does. The burn time is gonna be two minutes because these are low thrust engines. 
I think we can time accelerate. Oh, wow, Tylo just rose in the background. Look at that. Tylo, Tylo rides over Val. Delete on close. All right, we actually have some dramatic music for our burn. Time to node burn. So I'm supposed to start the burn. I think I did it earlier last time. I like this song. I have 35 seconds. I was going to say I should go get my coffee. I'll get my coffee while we do the burn. There's uh, there's Val. Oh, and look, there's Lathe in the background. So that's Jewel, Lathe, Val, and Tylo's behind us. 20 seconds to burn. Oh, I can't wait to hook up my Hotas to this thing. I now have a Hotas for the PlayStation. Three, two, all right, look at the throttle down here in the bottom left. <laughs> Good. All right, we now are burning for another minute and 47 seconds as Val, or as Tylo, the, the big uh, rock out there, rises in the distance. So while that's happening, I'm gonna get my coffee. At a minute and 34 seconds. I mean, time acceleration would be possible. But... All right, halfway through. All right, we're gonna do time warp to go a little bit faster. A little bit faster, we're at three times time warp. When we get down to like 20 seconds, I'll come out of time warp so I don't mess it up. Okay. How's it looking inside there? Looking pretty good. Our orbit is starting to look how it's supposed to. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, that's cool as the hyperbolic trajectory like changes to become. All right, eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, cut. I did it again. It's the tap dancing. That's what it is. Uh, excuse me. Let me out, okay. Oh, we're here, everybody. Nice work. And we got to fly right over Val. Lovely. I can't wait to land on these planets. All right. So, our uh, separation is pretty close. I'm going to turn on the reaction control system and find control and adjust my separation at closest approach down to... 0.7 kilometers, that's probably good because we're gonna need to burn hopefully less than 400 meters per second. But we are going to, uh, hang on, De delete that node. So it says right here our, our relative speed will be 329, so we're actually cutting it close. Uh, did I ever check that we actually are full on wood? Yeah, we have 150 kilograms of wood. Keep doing this wrong. So, right, this is how I do it. We're gonna be 0.8 kilometers away. Turn the RCS off. And we're gonna do 329 meters per second. So I'm just gonna add a maneuver that goes 329 meters per second. Um, and I'm gonna get that that burn time is 41 seconds. So 20 seconds before closest approach, we need to start burning. So, add an alarm for closest approach. One hour, 47 minutes. Is that what we think this will be? One hour, 48 minutes. Lovely. So we're going to whip around the planet and come back. And the alarm will keep us from smashing into it. Here we go, Bartool.
It's been four days since you uh, purchased your ship, and now you're finally going to get to arrive. I love watching these planets spin around. This is great. And we're going to switch to uh, maneuver hold the anti-target vector so that we uh, kill our relative velocity as we approach. Close that alarm. Uh, so, closest approach is in... 47 seconds. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be out here. I'm going to start burning at 30 seconds, actually, so we don't pass them in five seconds. Is he actually pointing anti-target? There we go. He wasn't quite pointing anti-target. Ah, retrograde. I meant, for, I meant retrograde. Okay. Thankfully, they weren't that different. Relative target velocity is down to 150 meters per second. We gotta not run out of fuel here. All right, we're gonna start correcting a little bit. We're still three kilometers away. So I wanna actually make sure that I'm pointing towards them. Approaching at 14 meters per second. And then we'll just time accelerate three kilometers out. And now it will have loaded in by now. <laughs> I don't remember what version it was that the load distance got bigger. All right. 13 meters per second and we are half a kilometer away. Did I target the right place by the way? I think I did. There we go, approaching at four meters per second. All right, uh, this is uh, Kirk Mark One Operation Distinct Tomorrow requesting docking clearance. And they say, sure. Sure, Bar Tool Danger Kerman. We can't wait to see you. Uh, I think I actually need to, um, hang on. Uh, control from here. I need to kill some of this relative velocity. <laughs> I don't want to be doing quite so much. Oh, there we go. All right. Control from here. We're going to do another docking maneuver, everybody. Another docking maneuver. We've got a Clampatron docking port, which is exactly what we want. That's going to be comparable to the one that we have. So we want to turn until we are pointing the correct way. And not doing this from IVA view is somewhat helpful. We have a delivery of 150 kilograms of wood uh, for your station's purposes. Now I'm going to time accelerate until we drift past them. Because we will be doing that. Okay, but we're going to drift past them in an unusual way. So let's make sure we get our alignment. We want to have a closing velocity that's a little better. We have to drift past so that we can actually be on the correct side. Oop, I messed something up. Something is a little weird here. There we go. I like this space station. Kudos to whoever made this space station. Now hopefully it's, if we don't do IVA view, we probably don't have to hear that beeping noise. So let's get rotated correctly. And get translating more correctly. Oh boy. This translation is sensitive. Go the right direction. That symbol means that we're retrograde. Uh, there we go. Now we're now we're drifting towards it. 
Uh, translate left. Almost aligned. And go a little closer. Closing at half of a tenth of a meter per second. We can go a little faster. Let's go at a tenth of a meter per second. This ain't NASA, even though I am wearing my NASA shirt. I like doing the IVA view, but it was a little bit, uh, it was a bit slower. Cheers. Almost. Don't, don't, don't go off now. Docked! Oh my goodness, whoops. Uh, save? <laughs> Gotta compulsively save. All right, Bartool can now, if I can find the button, uh, you can actually, let's, uh, let's shut down this, the, uh, the ship for a bit. Shut down. Off. Definitely turn the engine off. Uh, turn off the instrument backlighting. Turn off that. And, uh... I forgot to check whether the solar panels were gonna hit anything, but we just barely cleared. Don't deploy that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say... I don't know what 2 does for the other things, but let's... Let's retract these solar panels so that uh, we don't have any collisions. We'll just remember to put them back out again when we move. And anyway, now that he's shut down his ship, he can actually transfer inside this nice, comfortable space station. Um, although he's got, he does not have a window seat, it seems. Oh, look at that view. I think there's a dog outside or construction or something. It's a very weird noise. I can't get a view outside, but look, there's this nice view of Val, um, and that's Tylo in the background, and then over in this direction, we've got Lathe and Jewel. All right, let's sell, and I quick saved. Open station menu, uh, trading. Yeah, it's doing it again. That is weird, okay. Um, <clears throat> wood. Sell all. Look at that, we made like a thousand space bucks. <laughs> Only a million to go. Um, close that. Let's get monopropellant and fill the vessel. And let's get oxidizer and fill the vessel. And let's get liquid fuel and fill the vessel. Because that's important. Now, can we afford to fill the vessel with diamond? Because diamond is the most... Uh, let me double check this. Um, we are at Val. And diamond is... Slightly cheaper here. Actually, it's at Bop that diamond is very cheap. So let me compare. Give me a second. What sells really high at BOP? I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at a, uh, sheet here. And then we're gonna wrap up this, I'm gonna do something different. Whoop, I'm, lots going on. Alright, got Val, this is a friendly little information that the mod developer made. Um, at Val I can buy these things, and at BOP I can sell these things. Uh, so I wanna buy something that's cheap at Val and expensive at BOP. And the two numbers are buying and selling. It might be that everything is more expensive at Val than at Bop. Um, actually, I should have just brought wood to um, uh, to Bop. I think I might have gotten confused where I meant to go. Um, One point four four. Well, ore is slightly cheaper here. 
Uh, no, 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 that's not true. It's more expensive. I'm looking at the numbers wrong. Yeah, it looks like everything is more expensive here than it is at BOP. However, we did make some money off of the wood. Um, so instead, let's compare to Tylo. Well, Tylo will definitely make money, not as much money. But if we go and we sell diamond at Tylo, uh, we'll do something. So let's fill the vessel with diamond. And look, I spent a lot of money there. Close. Um, and now that I've done this whole procedure, I think I might actually be able to pop over to Tylo more quickly. So this is what I want to do. Let's, uh, we've made it, we've made it, I'm going to make a save. Uh, save game as at Val. Wow, caps lock, save. Um, now I'm going to make sure to get bar tool Kerman. I'm just going to really quickly do this mission to Tylo. Um, because I think I can do it quickly now. Uh, let's add an alarm. If I'm not trying to be as uh, proficient about it or as fancy about it, let's just do a transfer window. We're doing val to tylo. Uh, the best one is going to be in a while, actually. Um, So it's not the best timing, but let's just see. Here's Tylo. What if I left now? What would happen if I tried to transfer to Tylo now? Set as target. Uh, let's make. Let's do the maneuver much earlier. There we go. I would arrive um, like this isn't crazy at all like if I leave right now I don't know why it's telling me the next transfer window isn't until 13 days zoom in let's burn less it's kind of crazy actually burn a lot less Oh, am I actually running into Tylo? Yeah, I am. Look at that. Maybe it's like not as soon as it would otherwise be if I waited. Yeah, when do I arrive? You're one day eleven. Yeah, no, I don't wanna I don't wanna wait eight days. It says Val Tylo eight days. Eight plus four is twelve. And here I am arriving at Tylo before then. So let's focus view on Tylo. But I think I'm going retrograde, so let's um uh let's make sure we're going prograde when we when we get there. I can't tell what's happening, honestly. Um, burn a little later. Okay. I believe this is prograde, because now if I go like this, it should... Yeah. Let's delete that maneuver. We delete this maneuver, guys. Delete that maneuver. Okay. And we want to go to the... We don't want to go to the pirate station. We want to go to the regular Tylo station. And let's get a nice close approach. Let's not worry about getting it that perfect. Go ahead and undock. I said go ahead and undock. Translate away. Let's double check that our fuel reserves are what we expect. We are full of diamond. Monopropellant, electric charge, oxidizer is all good. Alright. Internal lights on. And 
engine on. I said engine on. Uh, okay. Let's uh, deploy the solar panels. Okay, the engine on button doesn't seem to work. That's okay. Let me just. Uh... Oh, because it's it's not the it's on not on the engine. It's on hotkey one. So the engine is activated. Oop. So let's point to our maneuver marker. Oh, wait, we don't have a maneuver marker for some reason. Where'd my maneuver go? Well, fiddlesticks. Focus view. All right. Add a maneuver. Just do this real quick. I think it was about 300 something. And, yeah, there we go. Focus view here. And now we do a little, burn a little later or earlier or something. Perfect. That will be five days. I don't know why we were worried. I don't know why we didn't think we could do it. I think the ideal transfer is maybe slightly better, but we're so close to each other. I think we just are only a little behind for a maneuver. Let's go, Bartool. Your middle name is Danger anyway. Okay, don't go that way at this particular moment because that is the space station in front of you. Uh, all right, add an alarm for 10 minutes. Hopefully we don't crash into the space station. I think we'll be okay. Bartool says, we'll buzz the tower, it'll be awesome. Delete on close, close. All right, burn in 50 seconds. I think I think that the um, music has looped, I apologize, but it's also, it's the, uh, it's the engine burn music. All right, be careful. Woo! <laughs> that was close. That was close. I almost knocked over my coffee. That would have been very bad. The computer is under there. I'm going to uh, do a little time acceleration since we are, our burn is going to be a little bit longer. Three, two, one, zero. Not as perfect, it's fine. Let's check on Val what's going on over here. Oh, that's exactly what I want. I hope I'm going the right way. Yep. I just double checked that we weren't going retrograde around the planet because that would be make it very difficult to uh, get our rendezvous. All right, well, we've left Val Station behind. Um and just proceeding along. SOI change. I hope we have enough Delta V to uh, finish our maneuver. Tylo, Tylo might be a more expensive situation. But worst case, we can get an extra 500 from Bartool's EVA pack if he has to bail out. But then he won't have any money, so... Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps we will have to reload a save at some point. Delete on close, close. All right, the nav ball changed, so we're now going to add the next SOI alarm. Where's my ship? I just want to focus view on my ship. That's all I want. There we go. All right, now we get to watch this trip happen. It's going to be four days in this little cabin. We we're just gonna fly out, up, and over. See these parabolic trajectories? We're gonna fly out, up, and over. Kill some time out here, 
And then swoop back in, and there's Tylo. Mm-hmm. Delete that on close. Let's warp past. The SOI change gently. Sphere of influence. All right, now we're coming in. Where are we going to end up afterward? We're going to swoop around the planet, and then we're going to get kicked into this random orbit of jewel. That's fine. Focus on Tylo for me. We want to go to the regular... Oh, I did not mean to switch. Okay, good. Set as target. You cannot switch to the station you're not on. Let's add a maneuver. <laughs> Make sure it's at periaps. And let's see if we have the delta V to do this. Oh yeah, we're going to be just fine. I assume that's the one we need to do. Yep. So we've got uh, 1,000 meters per second. We got a kilometer per second left. This is going to be about 400 meters per second. So we need to actually be careful because the relative speed here will be too high. Um, so what we can do, however, is um, perform a more efficient... Let's try adjusting. Let's. So what's going to happen is that if we do this maneuver as planned, if we burn at periaps, reduce our orbit, and then do an aggressive rendezvous, we won't quite have enough fuel. So I'm going to add a maneuver here and see if it is better uh, to subtly adjust our orbit. Ignore that. That's just extra information. No, no. Subtly adjust our orbit so that we're crossing uh, more where we want to be. Yep. And then add a second maneuver here. So that first maneuver now is going to be 47 meters per second. The f so that's 50 meters per second plus 520 will be 570. Um, and then our relative speed will be 200. That's closer. So I'm going to delete that second node. Um, I'm going to delete all of these, and all Bartool is going to do is he's going to quick save in case something goes horribly wrong. I like this song. Where's Tylo? Here's Tylo, by the way. We're going to turn radial out. Radial out points perpendicular to our orbit direction. And I'm going to look at my periaps height, and I'm going to increase it until it is just under 300 kilometers with a little bit of thrust from the main engines. Uh, hang on, we've listened to all this music too many times. Also, I need to um, turn this off. There we go. All right, resume. 100 meters per second, I mean 100 kilometers. I'm glad I checked, because we do not want to run out of fuel. I don't mind spending the fuel that we have, uh, you know, not as efficiently as humanly possible, or curbularly possible, but I do not want to run out of fuel, because um, without any money and with no fuel rats in Elite Dangerous, there are players who will come and help you if you've stranded yourself. That was maybe a little too much. Let's turn on the reaction control system and reverse thrust slightly. Okay. Now, wait. Oh, I actually want it to be 400. Okay. This, this station is at 400 kilometers, so keep burning. I'm going to burn until I'm at 5, yeah, 556, I want to get a little closer, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, 590, I want to be at, at 395, sorry. It's up here, this is tiny little numbers. 380, 390, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, close enough, all right. 
We still have over a kilometer per second of delta V on this ship. Add a maneuver, if that gauge is to be trusted. Uh, and we want it to be exactly at periaps. And I'm just going to drag it until my rendezvous thing is as close as it'll get before it won't rendezvous anymore. Yeah, that's correct. So it will. we will take longer to get around Tylo than the space station will. And so at this moment... Stop clicking outside. Click through protector wasn't part of this mod at the time. Click through blocker. All right, 1.4 kilometers is close. We can do a little better. That's fine. I don't mind being not quite perfect. Thankfully, we've all been at zero inclination, which is quite helpful. So now we're going to just perform that burn. I'm going to do that periaps burn. Like I said, I was going to try to do this quicker, so instead of explaining everything, we're just going to zip over. Why are we... Two hours. There we go. Warp on in. Here we come, Tylo. We Tylo is big. Tylo is the size of Kerbin. I think. I think that's right. Tylo is massive compared to the other moons, but it is a uh, an airless body, so you can't use parachutes, so it's quite a thing to land on. A minute and 43 seconds. Alright, so we're going to warp until the burn time is only 10 seconds. Three, two, one, zero. And I'm going to uh, time warp. Time accelerate through this burn. Yep, there's our orbits changing. There's a video game called Orbiter that I played the old version of, uh, which had those same displays. You had to fly like the space shuttle and things like that. Um, but that was all you had, like there wasn't a map view. It was quite challenging. Not that, not that you can't get good at internal vehicular activity view. Three, two, one, zero. All right. In fact, I think there's somebody streaming a like live Apollo mission thing from IVA. Okay, 0.7 kilometers is adequate for my purposes and with 500 meters per second left in the tank we only need to kill 168 meters per second of relative speed so i'm just going to add a maneuver type in 168 and and not not 168 m 168 then hit m to get out of that mode Kerbal Alarm Clock, Alarm for the Maneuver. Love using Kerbal Alarm Clock, it makes the game, well, the version of the games, the versions of the game that I played. Here we go, whip around Tylo. And here comes the station. So I wanna actually be in target retrograde. It's apparently going to be a Delete that alarm. It's going to be a 29 second burn in one minute. In 12 seconds. Here we go. Two, one. And I'm adjusting a little bit so that I can get a little closer to my target. Twenty meters per second. All right, we are 
done. Let's close that maneuver and let's turn toward the station. This is distinct tomorrow on approach to the Tylo station. We're gonna we're coming in on main engines. And we're gonna just wait placidly in time acceleration to get a bit closer. We here we come. And docking port alignment indicator comes up. We're going to select our docking port. We need it to be a Clampatron docking port. Are there any that are the way we want? No, we're going to have to fly past. But I think we can do that safely. Yeah, just barely. Uh, come out of stability assist mode. Uh, let's actually slow way down. And let's control from here. Slow way down. Let's uh, let's try using our maneuver holds to point at the target. I'm gonna use a different system here. This is uh, using a lot of monopropellant. Let me make sure I'm not running out of... The monopropellant is the reaction control system. Oh, we're fine. We got plenty. So instead of steering at all, I'm letting the autopilot steer, and I'm just... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dock on this alignment. I'm just uh, doing translation, and I'm letting it point how it wants. And since we're not inside, and we don't have to listen to the, uh, the uh, thing inside telling us that we're out of angle, which is helpful... See, I like flying from the inside, but not all the quirks were worked out. Can we turn the lights on? Interesting. Closing at a third of a meter per second. All right, so far so good. Let's stow the solar panels for safety purposes. And closing in. I'm going to reduce our closing velocity. You can see the little monopropellant jets there. Reaction control thrusters. This was really fun to see the uh, the dragon capsule do. All right, slow down a bit. Close enough. We are a bit out of alignment, but I think we're going to be just fine. I'm going to turn off the maneuver hold so that it doesn't fight it. And we have docked. Look at that. We're just going to save that save. And um, now we can sell our cargo of... Look look what we had in the way of... Uh, <laughs> this changed quite a bit. Wait, where did all our stuff go? It's still in there. It's just very small compared to what you can store in the space station. All right, open station menu, trading, diamond. All right, we got 9,000. Let's sell all. Yeah, back up to 12. I hope that was more than we had before, but I really don't have a head for these numbers. Now we are going to fill the vessel with liquid fuel and oxidizer and monopropellant. Close. 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 And just out of curiosity, uh, what is the nearest transfer window to BOP?
Apparently the best transfer window to Bop is in 15 days. Where is Bop? Yeah, Bop's a bit weird. Bop's gonna be expensive for, uh, for, um, for, uh, the inclination change. Might be good to do that inclination change down, um, out and out farther away, or by probably some kind of gravity assist. In fact, that would be fun for next time that we are doing Bartool Danger Kerman, is to do something like, something like, not this, something like, hello, uh, drop in, not quite so much, and run into something, yep, there was one, pop over the top of something like that. I bet there's a way we can use a gravity assist off of something to get the inclination correct, but not that way. That would be poor. But anyway, if you've been joining, thank you very much. I'm going to delete that for now. Uh, this has been the um, continuing adventures of Bartool Danger Kerman, who is going to shut off all his systems in here, because that's good, uh, good practice. And as the sun sets behind Tylo... He's going to transfer into his uh, storage container and uh, take a look at his new... Uh, look, he's got a place for all the different kinds of disposable things. Junk, rubbish, refuse, trash. And then there's food and not food, the, the most important things. And there's a, whole, there's a whole thing for laundry, which is lovely. Board games. See, the Kerbals know how to entertain themselves. Thank you very much. And a goodbye.